my name is Evan Lowe. I'm a process engineer for Imtech Ventilex. I've been working there about seven years. So do you mind if I join you today? No, sure, come along. Okay, great. What is your plan for today? Uh, we're going to go to this customer. We're going to discuss with them uh, how it's going with the machine, what they're doing there. Uh, hear from them about their problems uh, and any issues they have and then try to help them to solve them. So what is it that, that makes your work so interesting? Uh, for me it's mainly the variety of, of different jobs that you can wind up doing. One day in the office, the next day in the laboratory, the, ne the next day on a plane to some country somewhere, the next day in overall, something like this. Two days later I'm in a suit by a customer talking to the managing director about, uh, about an offerta and, and then the next day I'm back in the office again. So you don't mind to be alone, traveling alone a lot? Uh, it can be a bit much sometimes, especially if you're gone for several weeks in a row. But generally you tend to stay in one hotel often when you're several weeks away. So you start to make friends with the hotel staff and start talking to them. Uh, we're, in, we're in England, we're at a, at a site in England. Uh, to do a, they have a sand dryer. Uh, what we tend to use that for is with uh, building mixes, so like in, in a DIY shops. So that's what the dryer here does. So we discuss with the, the customer what sort of problems they might have and how we can help them today. We need to do an induction, so if you uh, just follow me through here. Take to the control room upstairs where George is. Okay. Never been in a film before? <laughs> Coffee? Yeah, great. One scoop? Yep. See, even in, uh, even in the UK they need a Dutch coffee. Uh, well, the things we want to check is this pipe, for example, on the inside, if everything's okay with that pipe, because that should help to, um, to clear the airflow. And also here on the other end, there's a, there's a plate on here uh, that, that should be in place. So what I can see here, this is, this is already like uh, nearly 10 years old, this dryer. So what we can check from the drawings is, uh, is this plate correct? We can look inside to see if this plate is in the right place and if this uh, ring on the outside is in the right place. So we can check the drawing to see what it was supposed to be like and then check in real life what it is like. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I'll go to the dryer, see you there. Thanks. Okay. Oh, we're going to go down to the dryer. We're going to have a look around, uh, walk around some of the equipment, take some measurements, and uh, see if we can help them out with some of the questions they have. So now we're in the factory. Uh, here in the factory uh, by the customer, it's a big sand dryer. We have the burner. It's creating hot air to go into our dryer. As you can see, it's shaking, it's uh, fluidizing the product and mixing the product with the air to dry it. We gotta check inside as well, make sure mechanically everything's okay. But we wanna make sure there's no cracks or anything forming that we can check. So anything we find that's different or out of the ordinary, we take photos of it as well as making notes that we can put that into a report and we can tell the customer what we found. That for some reason, the airflow isn't right inside the dryer, so one side is hot and one side is cold. So the probes are measuring the correct temperatures, but the process is not mixing the air well enough that it's creating an even flow over the whole dryer. Uh, at the moment, there's no obvious reason for it, but we'll take the photos and some of the notes I've taken, we'll take them back to Holland and we'll discuss it with the engineers there and see if somebody can come up with a reason why, that's, uh, why there's a hot side and a cold side. So that was it? Yep, we've taken the measurements, we've talked to the customer. So uh, yeah, bedankt that you have meegelopen by Sandroger in England. <laughs>